Hi everyone and welcome to the English Link podcast with me, Elle. Uh, don't forget that you can study this podcast episode as a lesson on Link. I will always add the link to that lesson in the description. Today I'm joined again by Mark Kaufman, the boss. How are you, Mark? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. The boss, I like, I like that every time I hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm well. Uh, how are you doing, Al? Uh, I'm pretty good. Yeah, you know, COVID times, so yeah. not really much changes from day to day. But um, we got some new kitchen lights, so that's about as crazy exciting as it gets around. <laughs> that is exciting. That's almost as exciting as the, the uh, new hood fan that's going in in my kitchen, which is... I was telling you about just before we got on the air here, uh, which yeah. was why I had to scramble out of the house and um, and come down here to the office where we used to be, but really mm. we aren't anymore. <laughs> no, I miss it. I miss the office. I'm yeah. very happy that we get to work from home and keep working during this whole thing, but right. uh, I do miss miss the social aspect of this job for sure. Yeah, for mm. sure. I wonder what the you know, not just for our office, but for all offices. I mean, you you hear people uh, predicting the end of people going to the office and um, mm -hmm. lot of companies that are, you know, significantly reducing their office space, not just for now, but uh, going forward. I mean, I guess we'll see how it all shakes out in the end. I, guess, I mean, I think the majority of people will probably return to the office, but a significant percentage will uh, probably continue working from home things may mm -hmm, mm -hmm. change so yeah. anyway so and yeah and work travel i think is another one that will change maybe there'll be a lot fewer work trips you know people can just do the meeting over zoom there's no need to fly across the country or across the world we'll see i guess yeah we'll see and when you think of uh, the uh, expense and and effort mm -hmm. and resources expended in, in all the business travel uh, even if a percentage of it um can be done uh through zoom or video mm -hmm. um that's significant yeah mm -hmm. yeah huge so i thought it might be interesting to chat about what's going on in the world uh, mm -hmm. because it is a pretty crazy time i mean of course we have the covid backdrop but in the past week or so we've also had a lot of news coming from the states and uh, i wanted to chat with you about that get your take on it um yeah did you see yeah. the storm on the capitol as it was happening did you find out afterwards uh yeah I, I found out afterwards i mean yeah pretty crazy times i mean you you see those pictures uh, the first reaction is is uh you know wow is that uh, is that venezuela like exactly. wow mm -hmm. <laughs> that's amazing mm -hmm. um that that could happen in the in the u.s uh i mean not amazing in 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 that you know having seen all the rhetoric uh leading up to it i guess and and uh, recognizing mm -hmm. that there's a significant element down there that seems to be disconnected from reality uh so yeah that 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 it could extend to to what happened there i guess not surprising but still when you see the visuals the first time it's like wow yeah wow yeah <laughs> exactly yeah it, it is shocking especially yet yeah, like you say we've it's seems like it's been possible for something like this to happen for a while because of the rhetoric and the way Trump seems to be emboldening or was 100% emboldening mm -hmm. uh, these kinds of people to do something, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. We all know it. You right. know, violence was what he was suggesting for sure. Right. But uh, to see it actually unfolding was crazy. I think I read a tweet that really... Uh, resonated with me um someone said to think that these people booked flights to go to washington dc and expect it with you know with their tactical gear and their you know straps what do you call those zap straps those plastic okay yeah like, you know what were they using and those for yeah they were there was this footage of people with them attached to their belts and they they plan to to go in to storm and to tie up these oh. people and get get the truth 
the, you know, oh, find yeah. these documents or get the truth out of them, mm -hmm. that Trump was indeed the true, should be the, is the elected president right. for the next four years. And then go back to work, <laughs> go back to the, wherever they're from in the States and just go back to work the following day or whatever. <laughs> It is amazing, nice. and, and that's the thing too, like, uh, it, you know, people might think, oh, these are just a bunch of kooks that, that crawled out of their parents, you know, basements, and uh, hitchhiked to Washington to yeah. storm the Capitol, but in fact, mm -hmm. they're, you know, former, whatever, Navy, yeah, uh, lieutenants. army lieutenants, um, yeah. SP company CEOs, company owners mm -hmm. like they aren't just rabble. Uh, I'm sure there probably are some that are, but th there's a full range of you know teachers and <laughs> you yeah. name it that have somehow been um, brainwashed into believing all this junk, um, mm -hmm. both by uh, Trump for sure, and then there's a, I guess this Q anon uh, oh. people, and and I mean I guess once you're believing one bunch of kooks, then you can believe the other, and you can believe Trump, and like whatever their truth doesn't matter anymore. They're all, mm -hmm. you know, they you don't they don't want you to know, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's yeah. it's uh, it it is a, it's amazing. I guess in a way. Um, was it, uh, when was it in, in Michigan where a bunch of them stormed the government there and tried to uh, kidnap mm -hmm. the governor or I right. can't remember exactly what happened yeah. there, but I guess that should have been uh, a, a forewarning that, that these people will do crazy things. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, this was a, I guess a logical extension. Um, amazing again that they were so understaffed in terms yes. of security like especially you know you look at what happened in michigan you look at the fact that these guys normally show up with their guns mm -hmm. uh i don't know if they did this time or not um I don't know. but it just seems like actually who, who's who's the larger threat to storm the capitol a bunch of black lives matter people or these kind of guys Mm -hmm. um yeah it'd be i mean hopefully the details will come out over time how their security response was so botched mm -hmm. and when you look we see images of the security response to the black lives matter rallies it's shocking mm -hmm. you know it's like the army is out right and they have their full gear and yeah. then you see footage from the storming with that that one guy um i don't know if you saw the one security guard who is alone backing up the steps with all of these this mob coming for him and he looks to the uh, entranceway to the senate to the uh the hall like the, whatever the area is. where yeah. everyone is and sees there's no security there and then looks the other way and actually takes the mob that way to try and give them more of a chance to get out and get to safety hmm. um oh he's just it's just him it's it's amazing, amazing. you know Amazing. Yeah. I, I didn't watch that much of the footage. I saw mm. isolated clips and some images. I read where some, you know, there was one, whatever he was, policeman that, you know, got jumped by four or five guys, kicking him and hitting him with their, whatever they were had in their hands. And uh, I mean, it just, uh, I saw, yeah. you know, they're, they're planning their, what they were going to do and, and, you know, strategizing on, they had some sense of the building, how it was laid out and where, where to go. And I mean, they were, they were organized. It was, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they, they, they were, plan as you say, I guess they were planning to uh, take it over, tie everybody up and, and, and get the truth. Um, yeah, I, 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 uh, I saw where they impeached Trump, uh, for the mm -hmm. second time. Mm hmm history making president uh, yeah i mean i don't know in the end what impact that will have but i i, I think that's the right thing to do like it, it, it's a it's a it's a ridiculous thing that was um basically encouraged by the sitting president if you can't impeach the president for that i don't know <laughs> like, yeah, that's treason exactly. in my book um mm -hmm. so I, I in the end what the, what the end result 
it was going to be, you know, unlikely, I guess, to be supported in the Senate. But uh, still, I mean, it, it leaves another black mark and, and um, mm -hmm. you know, it would have been nice if they probably could impeach him. And it means he doesn't ha access all those benefits, which uh, yeah. he, he gets as a former president. But um, I, a, a lot. It, it's, it's a lot. About that. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, I mean, I, I, I you know, I. I tend to not to offend any of our listeners, but I tend to think Trump should really be penalized for the way he's carried on the whole time he's been in office, to be honest. But uh, mm -hmm. and 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 not that I'm a left leaning liberal by any stretch, but I just think that uh, you're you're in charge of a country and you you have no integrity. That's I don't care what your policies are. I think that's the most important quality, and and um, mm -hmm. he's basically. Uh, thug as far as I can ascertain mm -hmm. so and a liar he's been caught out yes. many many times bald-faced lies bald-faced so. lies and and mm. um I was thinking about that today someone was talking about it or writing about it and um <clears throat> you know even over the course of the four years like even calling them lies versus falsehoods or whatever else people refer to them as like they're lies call them lies mm -hmm. he's lying the whole time mm -hmm. about ridiculous things that don't matter he lies so uh, what do you think he's doing about the stuff that does matter um yep. yeah exactly. amazing amazing that uh, that uh significant a percentage of americans could vote for a liar like that and it's, it's astonishing scary yeah mm -hmm. he, um, i'm just gonna say he kind of has a cult like hold on on people down there somehow uh, and maybe it's easier to see from outside where we are but it just seems like people are just believers they've bought into the cult and uh it doesn't matter what he does or says they believe him and uh, mm -hmm. that's what's so scary about him and that's what in the end leads to stuff like this storming of the capital like they whatever he says like oh well he said it he must be true um, he wants us to attack, so we better do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now, of course, he's backtracking his most recent statement. He says, I condemn. Mm. Not uh, the um, response he gave on the day was very different. I think he called the, the uh, rioters um, wonderful people. <laughs> well, wonderful people, we thank you. Right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah. And on the topic of news, so um, of course to get to, to bring it back to Link because it is such an excellent way to get your news in another language. I there was a time I've kind of laid off the French a little bit. I need to get back into it where I was reading my news in French, the study the language I'm studying every night. Um, are you are you studying a language right now and reading news in that language? Uh, I'm I'm studying Japanese mostly right now, and I guess I'm mostly. Oh, okay. um, learning from podcasts I I, um, okay. I I haven't I guess when I was doing Italian which is the language I was doing before I was subscribed to a newsletter from Il Post which is like a news mm. site or news portal Italian news portal and and yeah every day I got my news in Italian and I actually I found that great and I I'd be reading about all of this stuff in uh, mm. in Italian imported into link like click through to the web page use the browser extension the link browser extension to import it into link and and every day i'd read my news in italian and uh, really i should do that in japanese i must say it's mm. tougher in japanese because oh yeah the vocabulary like a news in japanese is so word dense that um yes. it's more effort but i think i'm ready now um you know i've got enough kanji uh, so that I, I, I actually did read a news article the other day and, and um, I'm going to start making that more a part of my routine. Um, mm. But uh, more challenging, obviously, in, in languages where the alphabet is, um, or the writing system is, is um, different because, uh, well, especially yeah. in Japanese, like you can't decide, it's very hard to decipher what the word means. You just have to see it and learn it and... Uh, but that's the, the benefit of Link. You can click on any word, quickly see mm -hmm. 
how to pronounce it, what it means. Uh, it's saved to your database. And then if you, you know, if you're reading the news and you're reading articles that um, on, on topics that on the same kind of topics every day, then the same kind of words reappear. And, and that's how you, you're just reviewing every time you see those words. And pretty soon you, you're not clicking on them anymore and you can move them to known and, and uh, mm -hmm. keep going. So uh, that's, it's a new year. I, uh, I definitely um, will be moving on to, to news and trying to drive more vocabulary growth in my Japanese. Mm. I think you've inspired me. I'm going to start tonight and get back into that habit of reading the news in French. I was yeah. reading every night. It was all COVID-19 stuff. Like, I think maybe that's why I stopped. Mm -hmm. And there's this, this phrase doom scrolling, you know, where you can kind of, you can read too much of the negative and it starts to get just, it's just uh, bogs mm -hmm. you down a bit. For so, sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, but it's a great habit. Just every night, even just one mm -hmm. short news article in your um, target language is so helpful for vocabulary and um yeah i'm gonna get back into that too absolutely and, and coronavirus it's kind of interesting to get the perspectives from different from a different country too and see how they're That's doing versus how yeah. you know you're doing in your own country and um mm -hmm. yeah I, I have been reading coronavirus related articles even in japanese off and on uh, even but now i'm gonna do more of it now yeah learning some new vocabulary mm -hmm. I guess, that you never knew you'd know so much. You never thought you'd need. Pandemic vocabulary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, as always, Mark, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you all. It was, was my pleasure. Uh, yeah. Amazing. We've, uh, our time is up. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. Um, we'll chat again, but, uh, in the meantime, have a safe, couple of weeks and um yeah get on that japanese news reading on link <laughs> will do you too and uh yeah as i sit here in the office look forward to when we can all be back in the office yes. again yeah totally mm -hmm. really looking forward to that although there's no timeline <laughs> no. i like at the end of summer as people who are you know not in the older age category mm -hmm. and not immunocompromised mm -hmm. we can expect to be vaccinated by maybe late summer but right we'll so, see so that's we'll good see. so that's positive so that yeah. by you know by the fall i guess back to school and whatever mm. that, that period in september late summer september that's realistically when when we can expect that uh, that uh, people will be <laughs> back to normal whatever the new normal, normal. Yeah. <laughs> will yeah. be It'll be interesting to see. Yeah. See. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Mark. Thanks, Elf. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, you thanks. too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.